call us? Still, I'm curious. You gotta know your competition, right? What's that piece of rubbish, Kitty? Tell me. No, don't tell him. Uh, he'll probably sabotage you. No. Ah, uh, come on. I'll know sooner or later. Then wait. Ah! The hell? Spit it out, or I break his neck. You can't just do that. Hey! Okay, something to burn. Oh wait, I know. Oh my god. Wait, I forgot your name. What was your name? Trap. A uh, tramp. Yeah. Stop. Fire. Hmm. Does fire invoke something to you? Yes. Anarchy. No. And guess uh, grass type gems. No. I'm just surprised. We hardly need to make a real fire nowadays. Things change. In my time, everyone could light up a fire. Sometimes for necessity, often for fun. But mostly fun. Then our society told us what to think. Don't make a fire, it's dangerous. What did they know? Don't drive an air car yourself, it's dangerous. Don't go mountain climbing, it's dangerous. Screw them, I'll do what I want. Every potential threat got banned. What's wrong with that? It's obviously for safety reasons. Safety? No one is safe in the current world. Not here, for sure, but drummers are safe. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Are they? I wonder. <clears throat> I mean, physically, probably, yeah, but mentally? Uh, Graf, I hope you have good sanity. But anyways, is it, is it cool with you if I do this? May I? What are you doing, my boy? Burning that holy symbol. Ah, I forgot. To me, it's just a plastic figure. I'll take my chances. If it's important for you, go ahead. The statuette has melted. Good. It's still hot. I'll use that old piece of cloth to wrap it. It's all sticky. Better use it fast before it gets hard again. I didn't intend to use that stove anymore anyway. Oh no! Truly sorry. I didn't realize I had sullied it. Let me clean it. Don't waste your time for an old fool. No way. My old man always says. It's never too late to do the right thing. My mistake. I'll fix it. There. Like new. Okay, thank God. I thought I was like, oh no, that I fucked up. Uh, did I feel like a horrible person? Thank you. Now go. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, I better go. Uh, go, 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 this there not perfect but that should do the trick now i need an operator to give a shock to a certain someone what could fit that definition i don't know i looked everywhere one more hand i need that screwdriver and borrow it amongst the tools floating in the tube i thought she wouldn't allow me to but okay let's try that then Can I have the screwdriver? What's the magical word? I don't know. My parents didn't live long enough to teach me. <laughs> oh god. Don't say things like that. Although that's a valid point. Okay, you can have it. Awesome! Your enthusiasm for a simple screwdriver is wonderful. I wish I had a childhood. Uh -huh. What do you mean? A normal childhood, anyway. I'm afraid time goes only one way. Hmm. Who knows? Are you saying you're gonna invent time travel? Alright, I know what to do. Okay, don't make eye contact with that lady. Don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. Alright, here we go. Let's see if I can pull this button. Bruh. For God's sakes! Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do with this item then? Not One more hint. Need something uh, to attribute anyone. Who would who would dare to touch your invention? Am I already here? Wait. A neon sign. Who 
quite an antique. I'm surprised it still works. Okay, one more hint. Phone which serve uh, as a uh, info phone at the right uh, at the right gate should do the job. But in order to take it, you'll need to deactivate it first. How do I deactivate? Okay, I can dodge with this. It's firmly. Sh can I use this? Easy. Now, let's see. Okay. What the heck? Who designed this mess? Ugh. Glass shell. Battery. Info. Looks like the close-by digicode. Hurry, it's half erased. The info phone, I guess. Power. Okay, power. Uh, boop. Looks like I can disconnect this wire. Should I? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. You made a fool of yourself. Damn it! Shut up, game. I'm useless. Okay, that was my first death. Screw my life. Okay, let's. That's a power battery filled with gas. A very old model. Oh, it's removed. The wires are behind that glass shell. Ugh, it's stuck! Must not have been opened in ages! No use. I don't have enough strength to open it. Hmm. Maybe I won't need to. Oh, wait, the screwdriver! Of course! I'm worried about the result. I can. That seemed like a great idea. Ah, I can't break. Damn it, all the hell. Wait, sticker. Of course. Wires. Follow them with your eyes. They're all a uniquely designed. Then turn the uh, the thumb of wheel at the top. Respond. Hurry. Battery. Oh wait, the info phone, of course! Is this the good one? Duh! Okay. Yeah, I've always dreamt. The inf the info power. Got rid power. It's half a race. Yeah, I've always dreamt of getting electrocuted. Is this the- <laughs> Fuck my life! <laughs> that must have heard. Shut up! Does that mean it's safe? Let's see. Ugh. For God's sakes, really? 
What am I missing here? That's a power battery. That's a... I keep getting... Press the following thumb wheel. From left to right, five and seven. Is this... Did this... Oh my god. It's off. Now, how do I take that button? I can't really get a grip. Let's see... Mm, there! Whoops, everything came off. Well, at least I got my button of death. Okay. It's even got a nub connector. Perfect. Alright, and I just got an idea. And I'm extremely injured. Consciousness Center. Ah! Oh. I bet I, I just come in and, and and I'll be like, the hell happened to you? I don't want to talk about it. I just keep ruining Grab's uh, life every time I play him. So this is what Chris feels like when I control him. Virus, I just realized something. Combine items. Sticker. Yes, that could definitely work. But first, I should apply flour directly on the surface I want to print of. Yes, that but first. Okay. Talking with him is. Okay, I just need a. Just a simple fingerprint. What the heck are you doing? Um, go away. I need to rest and stop walking around me. My ears are sensitive. Well, screw you with your ears. Get some luck. Okay. Mm, uh, why do I even apologize? In any case, I need a more subtle approach. Mm. Oh, my earbuds. Uh, uh, Still around? What do you want? I'd like to apologize about earlier. Ah. Uh. Finally, you're making some sense. Yep. I'd like for us to take a new start. And I've got a gift for a pair of earbuds. You won't be bothered by outside sounds anymore. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute. You're not trying to trick me, are you? Of course not. Look, I'll wear them. See? Hmm. Okay, let me try it. What? I said... <sighs> Will you remove those darn things? Uh, wait. I can't hear you. There. Convinced? Give me that. Hmm. Oh, yeah! A perfect silence! Uh -huh. Exactly what I needed. Yup! Sorry, Brock. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Beat it! I hope I don't regret this. You won't. Because watch this. Good idea, but sticking his finger will wake him up. Besides, the handprint won't hold on the sticker. What did cheap detectives do to get fingerprints already? Okay, just gotta be careful. There, I've applied some flour on his finger. Didn't feel a thing. And now, boom. Uh. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I applied enough pressure. I'm sure you did. Hey guys, don't mind me being electrocuted. The force field won't any device. Detecting. Great, it fits. The force field should spread the detection so it's not localized to one point, but everywhere around. Now I need an operator to give a shock to a certain someone. What could fit that definition? The trap is set. And now... Good. Only one problem left. I need to target Clay exclusively. Boom. Works. What a relief. Final step. I activate the force field. Perfect. My convoluted protection is almost invisible now. Oh, is it working? Yep. I got electrocuted multiple times for this. I'll know the answer in a few seconds. Oh no, he's coming back. Uh, what? Hmm, idiot. Yeah, what's up? Stubot, I forgot my socks on my chair. Bring them back. Yes, sir. I told you, kitty. Accidents tend to happen. Again? Yes! Oh my! Huh. Oh, is he dead? Dude, he's just knocked unconscious. You sure were heavy-handed. Okay, thank God. The guy didn't have like a heart a problem or something. He started it. It's almost time. The examination board will be here any minute now. Okay. 
I did everything I could. Now I just have to cross fingers and wait for my old man. Look, look, my parents, they're over there. Okay, hang on, Grav, we're coming. Oh wait, we're here. I'm here. Finally, I thought you'd never come. Quick, there's only a few minutes left. Okay, yeah, I'm here. La, 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 la. Oh god, hopefully the cops don't show up. That was close. We made it. That's the important part. Yeah, but if you hear the cops coming in, um, just let me handle it. You don't realize. One more minute and all those years of work would have been annihilated. What's your excuse this time? Truth, lie. Uh, truth. My investigation took an unexpected turn. I ended up in jail. I had to escape. Jail? Are you a criminal? Is that what you're hiding from me? No, of course not. I can explain. Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. Don't you dare do that to me again! I'm sorry. And a simple thank you would be enough. <sighs> He's right. I need to find a way to redeem myself. Somehow. But it's getting late. I know. Grandpa always said eating is the best stress reliever. I'll prepare dinner for him. The best food he's ever had. Nobody can resist my cooking. Now, let's see what I can gather. I forgot. I still haven't gotten shopping. This is all I could find. Guess I'll have to make do. Go cheese, flour. Go cheese. Sure. Cooking time. When he told me he was stuck in jail, was he for real? Hmm, probably. No reason to lie about something like that. But why? Because, uh, because my client, uh, like. Fake becoming a cop! I don't like this. Maybe I should have let him explain. Huh? <sighs> of course, that's him. Ref. I prepared dinner. Well, to be honest, I don't feel like eating right now. Honestly, I think you should because your health bar says otherwise. I just can't help thinking about well, everything. Come on. No one can think properly on an empty stomach? Please. Okay. Here, let me serve you. Mm, looks good. You think so? Oh, I hope it is. Hmm. Yep, not bad. Nice! I'm glad. We're running out of ingredients, so it wasn't easy to prepare something. It's fine. Mm. Oh, this is actually nice. It's been a long time. I mean, since we've last eaten together. Usually, I'd either prepare a meal for myself, or you'd leave me a plate to heat. It's not the same. Oh. You're right. We should do this more often. Yeah. Mm. About what happened. Wait. Not here. This time, it's my turn to surprise you. Follow me! Where are you going? Uh, where are you going? Oh, is it is this like uh, the trailer? Uh, the trailer? I didn't expect to climb all the way up here. Won't you tell me where we're going? Right here. Oh, yeah, we're about to do our trailer, son. I wanted you to see this. Uh, see what? Hmm. Let me ask the question properly. What do you see? Well, I see trash, the polluted haze, despair, and misery. Ooh. Just as I thought. You keep looking at the ground, but you know what they say. Every coin has two sides. Raise your eyes to the sky. The sky? Oh. oh. You're right. This is pretty. Yeah. 
It hasn't changed. No matter how much our technology pollutes it, the Earth does its best to remain magnificent. Ah, you and your mom, after we met, we used to go here every evening. Both of us had busy lives, but this was our highlight. Each day, we would spend the little time we had talking. Talking? Really? <laughs> well, most of the time, anyway. <laughs> Most of the time. Okay. I... I want to ask you something. Is it wrong if I can't remember her? Mm. Oh, that's a tough one. Not just her, but my father, too. Oof. That's honestly a tough one. Forgetting my parents. Never for uh, I feel like you'll never forget them. Does that make me a bad person? Of course not. Actually, to tell the truth, I'm the same. I have erratic memories of the past. Okay, so here's the theory with th uh, with that. What if, like, the robots, like, used the pill that Sin attempted to steal from the pharmacy to make them forget, like, th that incident and uh, of Sh Sheila's or whatever Graf's mom's name is? Because she probably discovered something that she knew too much and killed her off and made everyone related to her and to the case, like, forget about her. That's my theory, at least. Sometimes I ask myself, what did her voice sound like? What did her smile look like? If it wasn't for this picture I saved, I wouldn't even recall her face. Yeah, I've checked through all the Triweb. Our family pictures, video clips, documents, they were all stored online in one place. When the national power outage happened, all our files were just... gone. Mm. As if our entire existence up to that point had been erased. Not just ours, but the whole city. The only memories left are in our minds, and they're not even reliable. You're wrong. Our mind is the most precious and trusty belonging in this day and age. There's a simple explanation to all this. We both went through trials and tribulations. Sometimes our brain tends to block bad memories as a protective shield. Uh, that's honestly really true. So we can keep living. You talk exactly like Shay. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes. I wish I could remember. You know, I do remember one thing. Really? What was it? You. The fire was still burning. I was laying down outside, regaining consciousness. You were there, watching over me. Mm. It's been a long time. Look, I'm aware we don't get to spend a lot of time together. I know. Don't worry about it. You're doing what you can. I wish things were different. Mm. But... I need you to know, I will always stand by you. Greatest father and son duo. Do you still trust me? I do. Hey, I realized I don't have any pictures of us. This view would make a good one. Good idea. Hold on. Darn, the camera is acting up again. Let me do it. Wait, are you sure you know? Of course I do. There. Oh, that picture looks epic. Love it. I love this art. Cartoon art has always been my favorite kind of art. Huh? Oh. Well, uh, I guess I'll take another. Don't! It's... it's perfect. Really? Okay. Here. I transferred it to you. Thanks. I... I'm glad you're here. Me too. Mm, let's hope nothing horrible happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello? Um, Bro, what are you doing? Um... The fight starts in a few minutes. Oh. Oops. If you don't come immediately, I swear I'm gonna... Hang on! I'm on my way! Okay, I thought it was the cops like, Bitch, where the fuck are you? Uh, Who was that? I, uh... I'll explain later. <sighs> Some things never change. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> I'm here. Ooh, the night actually looks beautiful. Ready. Chill, bro. The fight starts in ten minutes. Huh? 
But you said... I used my bending time capacity. Bending time? You embedded time? You were late, so I jumped back an hour to get you earlier. What? You embedded time travel? But that's impossible. Is it? We can imagine it, right? Doesn't that simple fact make it possible? No, you're confusing me. Okay, okay. You're right. I didn't. After all this time, don't you think I've learned a thing or two about you? The only way to get you here on time is to never give you the right timing. Ugh. I fell for it again. Good thing you always seem to forget. Still, bending time. Wouldn't it be convenient? There are many interesting theories. Uh-oh. Here comes Miss Science again. Like alternate timelines? Or like, uh, going back in time to fix your mistakes? Even preventing death? Well, you've got ten minutes to kill now, don't you? Been a long day. I could really use a rest. Oh, very well. If you prefer spending this time doing nothing over enlightening your spirit, that's your choice. Uh... Sure, let's listen to your theory. Actually, you made me curious. Enlighten me. And she basically, uh, like, uh, explains the Undertale lore. About the save and load and termination. Good. First of all, let me ask you this simple question. What is time? Hmm. If, if Persona has ever taught me, time is like a river. Each moving at different speed and always going the same direction. Well, it's some kind of measurement? Like, I weigh 220 pounds and you weigh, um... Never say a girl's weight. How much do you weigh? Bitch! Bro, you're as clueless about women as you are of science, aren't you? How the hell did the grass mom even like you? I bet, I bet when you first met, you, uh, you just went up to her and be like, uh, what's your weight? And then she just slapped you, and then you got go, and then you got along. Anyway, I see what you mean. For instance, fixing this tablet takes me one minute. Meanwhile, you're up on the trash mountain looking down at my garage. When I'm done fixing it, how much time has passed for you? Well, one minute? Wrong! What? Time is relative. It can vary for different observers. In my example, it will almost be one minute spent for you. Almost, but not exactly. There will be a very slight difference. Maybe just less than a nanosecond. It's especially true when you're higher, thus not subject to the same gravity, like you on the mountain. Mm. Think about satellites. The effects of gravity, as well as the satellite's increased speed above the Earth relative to observers on the ground, make their clock gain about 50 microseconds a day. Huh. So, basically, you're saying that I could get older faster than you. Exactly. Maybe less than a second faster in an entire lifespan. But the difference exists. It's called time dilation. Does it matter? Yes, because it means one important thing. Time cannot be dissociated from space. Ah. You know how every object has three coordinates, height, width, and depth? These are dimensions. Oh, here we go with the dimensions. Well, time is the same. It's called the fourth dimension. It's hard for us to imagine. Time is an illusion of our mind. If we can move an object into space, why couldn't we move it into time as well? But how do we do that? Not the slightest idea. By moving into space, close to the speed of light. The speed of light? Hey, have you been to school? Everyone knows that. He dropped out. Now that you mention it, Grandpa and I, we often watch the stars at night. He told me that we observe them as they were millions of years ago. Yes, that's because light is an instant. A star's light takes a lot of time to reach us. Right now, how you're seeing me is the only reflection from my older self. Oh, so you're actually younger? That varies according to your perspective. There's a delay. It's so tiny, our brains can't notice. But that doesn't make anyone travel in time. It's just looking. Right, we're standing still. What happens if we move? Say you have a twin. I do? Of course not, silly. One bro is already too much for this world. <laughs> hey. But let's assume you've got one. While you're staying on Earth, your twin is traveling inside a spaceship at a very high speed. Years pass, one day he comes back. And to your surprise, he's much younger than you. Yeah, because there's no time in space. 
am I right? Hey, that's not fair. But true. The twin has aged much slower than you. Time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move relative to another reference. So, in a way, we can say that the twin traveled to the future. That's fine, but I wouldn't want to go forward in time. All the people I know would be old or dead. Can we go back instead? Is that possible? Well, my friends once told me that you can't travel to the future because it hasn't been made yet. But you can't travel to the past. Notice what I said. To go into the future, we'd need to reach a speed close to the speed of light. Now, what would happen if we could exactly reach the speed of light? Well, I guess we would disintegrate. Our body couldn't take it. Neither would our mind. we go crazy. Possibly. But you're making a common thinking mistake. You wouldn't need to move straight forward to gain speed. A vessel could be moving back and forth, increasing progressively and ever so slightly, that the movement itself wouldn't be perceived by the mind and body. I feel like I'm just jumping back into Kingdom Hearts 3 when Roxas was explaining like how he got uh, in, uh, how he got uh, a vessel, and that he traveled uh, from the past as a heart, or that the organization did. You mean like our reflection previously? Yep. Space in the vessel would shrink, including all objects inside. And suddenly, BAM! You reach the speed of light and enter a wormhole. From there, you get access to the whole world's history. You can land anywhere you want. Or should I say, any time? Exciting! Uh-huh. Can you just picture it? Yep. <laughs> right now, the only thing in my mind is a headache. Yep, I'm riding uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. We may need to go back in time, all right. Why are you saying that? Because it's time. Quick, in the cabin. Wait, I need to save. I have to end the episode. Oh, God, wait, no! <laughs> Yeah. Oh my. All right, it's just like my grinding session. All right, wait, pick this up, pick this up. Oh, right, there we go. God, everyone in the background looks epic. This. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'll have to do what to get past. Them. Ow! I hate these things. Okay. All right. I I, I have I, I have a baton. Come at me. Hello. Who are you? What? Oh, is this... Um, your opponent? No, it was supposed to be. What? Never mind. Let's rock. Cry. Oh, what the... Oh, yeah, D. Come on. I'm freaking... Huh? You... You're a... Darn. You blew my cover. I right, doesn't matter if it's a girl. Let's fight. Shay, I gotta go. What? No way. Not enough. I, I can't hit a lick. Well, I am one, and I'm telling you, smash her down. Don't be a gentleman. I can handle you. And I fight her. Don't be dishonorable, bro. Very well. I won't hold back. All right, let's continue. Oh, oh you freaking. <laughs> Wait, is she just in nunchucks? Okay. All right, she's kind of kicking my ass. Not gonna lie. Uh. Oh wait, she's got. Gonna... Okay, I got this. Oh, wait. Come on. Come on. 
Go, go. Did it. You okay, girl? Sorry it came to this. You're a skilled fighter, but don't worry about it. I wasn't here for the money anyway. Then what for? Goodbye. Oh, well, I won. What a day. Ha! Huh. She's gonna be an uh, she's gonna be an important character. Done. No one can withstand my fists of steel. Congrats, bro. This should cover some of your debt. Why do you always have to ruin the fun? <laughs> hey, what's that? Some kind of giant egg? <laughs> no touching. Yeah, but it is a giant. She is a baby type girl because look at the background. There's like a picture of her uh, of a little human go, uh, going with the uh, with a. Uh, with a a sand clock with the egg. But I just... No. Can you at least tell me what's in there? It's... a secret. Ooh, a new invention? Yeah. I promise this will change your life. Hmm. Let me guess. That's a money-making machine. Not even close. It's a time machine. It is a time machine. Then, uh... Take your time. Well, bye. Hey. You're making it sound like it's an everyday job. Isn't it? I'm risking my life for some credits. Nah, you can't die. What? Why are you always so confident I'll never get killed? Or worse. Haven't we already been through this before? Like this morning, when you sent me to hack a border post full of deadly bots and lasers. Or when you set up that giant saw that I barely escaped from. And I was lucky to make it out alive. What a silly question. <laughs> That's because I know the... Mm. Wait. Is she actually a time traveler? I mean... I know you. <laughs> ha! I'm starting to have my suspicions. But I feel like she's, uh, she's like a time traveler. And she's watching from a distance, making sure Brock doesn't freaking die. I believe in you. Hmm, okay. Thanks, Shay. You're a great friend. No problem, bro. Can I save it and leave? Oh. Ha! Huh. Should I trust her? My question. Uh oh. This place is dark. Let's move on. Uh, how about we don't? We're gonna save it here and end it here. And the next one, hopefully, we'll find out what Shay is hiding from us. I'm having my suspicion, and I have a theory she might be a time traveler, or she knows, like, someone. I don't know what. But yeah, that's it for now. Alright, so. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys uh, like this, please like and subscribe. And I'm really enjoying this game, it's really fun. Sorry I have not been uploading, like, as much as I want to. Uh, like college is like starting to pa uh, pack it up and math class is starting to kick my ass. But I'll be fine. So thank you all uh, for your support. And until next time, show us over everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later.